Good morning, it's nine o'clock on Wednesday morning and I was woken to a phone call this morning from my daughter. She's not feeling the best. She suffers from skin infections, she always has done. She's got a barrier function disorder, but every so often she pops up with bacterial or other infections and she's got like a cold sore virus infection in the crook of her elbow. I'm trying to point with one hand, impossible. <laughs> Been self-treating it for a few days with over-the-counter creams and keeping a dressing on it, but she's woken up this morning. She said it is very painful. Well, she said it was in complete agony, but she said it in such a calm voice. <laughs> I think it's all relative, I, but she says it hurts to move it. It's all pain going up the arm. So I've been on the phone to the dermatologist secretary. Well, I haven't, I've left a message because they're not there yet, but I'll try them again in 10 minutes. So I don't know what today's gonna hold for us, but we're gonna have to get it looked at somehow or another. I don't know if the GP will want to or not, or if they'll just say, go to the hospital or if, that was too extreme and she should really go to the GP, I don't know. But because of the medication she's on, like just the pharmacist won't do, they'll say, oh no, if she's on that, she's got to go to the GP or the dermatologist. So I'm gonna put the coffee pot on and try and ring the dermatologist again. Okay, I got through to the GP on the phone and Izzy needs to take a photograph of her affected area and send it in an email to the email address that they've given for the attention of the specific doctor's name and they are going to give her personally a telephone consultation which is going to be weird because I'm not there. I have no idea when. I haven't heard back from the dermatologist secretary. Did I tell you I rang them? I've left a message. I can't remember if I told you that or not. It's because I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm going to have my coffee now and quickly work on the vlog for tonight in case I have to suddenly go out somewhere and take it to A&E or something like that. I don't know. But she's down in Cardiff and I'm up here, so there's a bit of a travel gap between the two of us by public transport, so we'll have to see what happens. Oh, and I, I think I better do a COVID test before we go out. I'm okay, but last night I didn't feel very well at all. I was very fatigued by around eight o'clock, pushed through and did the vlog edit and that, but I was good for nothing after that, really. And I felt pretty sort of like mild cold symptoms really not particularly ill and I feel the same this morning I don't feel tired this morning but you know glands are all swollen and everything so I'd probably better do a covid test before I go gallivanting off on public transport and into healthcare settings <laughs> that would be an interesting complication wouldn't it oh I'll do that now before I have my coffee that's looking all right thankfully good one less complication one of our friends has just got it for the third time you hear it happening all the time, don't you? Oh, anyway, I'm gonna get on with things for now and keep my ear open for the phone and see if there's any development. I don't think I have to do anything yet, but I might at some point. I won't be surprised if she has to go A&E with it, to be honest, we'll see though. It's 11.24, nothing's going to plan today. You know what it's like you get those days. I've spent a lot of it on the phone to various people, including my dad and Isabel and a doctor and various secretaries from different departments. They've looked at the photograph of it and they reckon it's in Patigo. I've looked at the photograph of it now and I think it's in Patigo and cold sore virus combined. But I could be wrong. But anyway, the GP has prescribed oral antibiotics and they've told Isabel she can't have it till tomorrow because that's how long it will take to process. I find that kind of hard to believe that I can't just go and collect a green prescription and take it straight to the chemist. So I've got to ring them next. But now I'm kind of waiting for a call back from the secretary of the dermatologist because I really think... We need a more expert look at that photo, somebody who's really aware of her history because she has a history of impetigo and the cold sore virus infections. So I'm not sure if just antibiotics alone is gonna be the appropriate course of treatment. <sighs> sure, anyway, but I mean, she has got the cold sore cream. So we're wondering if she should take the oral antibiotics and use the cold sore cream, but we're just kind of guessing. <laughs> so I think we should get some proper medical advice. Um, anyway, I might just get dressed and washed now and um, listen out for my phone. This is one of those chatty vlogs today because I've just been so busy. I haven't had time to, you know, line up shots and get it all arty. Not an arty vlog today. Anyway, I was cleaning my teeth and the dermatologist secretary rang back. So I was like, oh, oh, so quickly spat a bit out and was like, trying to do this on the phone very quietly so she wouldn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I don't know what she would have thought, but anyway, I've emailed a photograph for the dermatologist, but he's super busy with patients. At some point he might see it. Izzy did not mention to the GP that she can't take tablets, and this occurred to me, and I thought, oh, I bet the prescription's for tablets, and she won't be able to take them, she vomits. At the sight of tablets, she's taken too many in her time, bless her, and she only has to think about them as she starts heaving. Anyway, I got that changed. So yeah, I've been on the phone a lot today. I've been on the phone to my dad quite a lot and always get carried away on the phone to my dad as we get chatting, like a couple of old mates. So do that. Anyway, I'm making myself a cup of tea. I've got the vlog up, so I've been managing to sort of juggle that. Got that up for tonight, so that's crossed off the list. 
I have got a load of emails to deal with, but I'm gonna practice my flute now. I'm not gonna film it today because I don't wanna keep putting too many similar things in the vlog day after day, but I am gonna go and do it because I do tend to do it every day. Now, Izzy's probably not going to college tomorrow. I think it's very unlikely because of her arm. It's half term next week, so. She's got a load of stuff mounted up at my dad's that really doesn't need to be there. She's been going back and forth, taking stuff, leaving it there. So he's actually gonna bring her back at some point today. And then I expect he'll come and stay for a cup of tea and things like that. And IB's coming later. I don't know when, but I'm making dinner for him. But of course, I wasn't expecting Izzy. So I bought all stuff that Izzy can't eat. Like it's got chili in and things like that, so. Oh, uh, it's gone complicated. I'll manage, right, deep breath emo, it will all be fine. Right, I'm just gonna put my blinkers on and focus on my flute for the next hour or so. I'm emerging from my cellar. Well, I did 35 minutes worth of practice, so I'm gonna have to do some more later and finish off, but A, I'm hungry. I need to eat. And also, my daddy's on his way, he's just leaving now, so I think I've just got Time to quickly find some food and eat it before he comes. If I'm eating when he's there, it's fine. He won't mind. I'm heating up leftovers again. There was a bit of rice left in the fridge and a tiny bit of that curry. And just for the sake of being super fast, I've added a handful of broad beans for some protein, fiber, etc., and just a few frozen mushrooms as well. Just to bulk it out a bit because it wasn't quite enough. There is a bit of leftover pizza. I didn't really enjoy it the first time round and now it feels like it's gone all soggy. Might or might not eat that. Let's see, maybe later. I'm doing my usual trick of just quickly putting the clean stuff away and the dirty stuff in just while that's heating through very thoroughly. There we are, there's me lunch. Not that much there, I might eat the pizza. We'll see. Well, Dad's here. We've been having a cup of tea together. He's heading off shortly though. I haven't been filming. Should I say hello to the vlog? Hello. <laughs> Well, as Groucho Marx would say, hello, I must be going. I'd love to stay, but all the same, I must be going. <laughs> it's five to three in the afternoon now. My dad has just left. We had a lovely long chat and a cup of tea together. I'm all sleepy now because I've been sat still for so long, <laughs> but I need to get back to work. And I was just about to go out the door because I had a call from the doctors saying that they have rearranged the new prescription with the oral syrup. And I thought, hang on a minute, why am I going to get it and take it to the chemist? Isabel can do that herself. So she just has, and it's the first time she will have ever got her own prescription and sorted it out. So hopefully they don't say she's too young and send her back. <laughs> to bring me. She's 17. I should have thought it would be alright. Anyway, right, I am not showing you over there because I've got all spreadsheets and things up, but I'm going to get back more band email stuff to do with customers, basically. Details being confirmed and that sort of thing. Oh, and the dermatologist secretary called back as well. He's had a look at the photo, booked her in for an appointment coming up quite soon because he wants to see it in person, but he says yes to, he agrees with the oral antibiotics for it. And what else? Oh, he says it's definitely not monkeypox because she would be feeling very unwell. And she's not feeling unwell, she's just got a pain in her arm below and above the crook of the elbow where the infection is. So, yeah. <laughs> but it is big pussy white spots, so it was worth asking the question, I think. Oh, do excuse me. I've just been dealing with the third email. I think that's all I've got to do in the way of emails urgently. Yes, done that. Okay, good. Emo going tired and bleary eyed. I can pop that away for now though. Don't need to get that out again till tomorrow. That's a bit messy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that'll do. I really need to do some work on my books now, as in my accounts. I haven't been doing them yet for this tax yet. I'm so bad. Normally I'm really good and any bits of money I earn, any expenses, I put them straight in. But the thing is, we got to the end of the tax year and it was time to switch to the new format of spreadsheet that my boyfriend made for me and I'm scared of it. It just, it's like a sea of black and white and it, it's, <laughs> I like nice big chunky colourful things that are easy to understand. Anyway, I need to make a start because the, you know, time's ticking on and on and on and it's getting to the point where I'm going to have to go through my diary and my bank statement and collate it all before I can even put it in. So, ah, uh, I need to start. The thing is I'm tired. I'm a bit brain dead and I'm, I feel like asleep. <laughs> 
Oh, anyway, right, I'm gonna make a start on that. This is five o'clock me. I have now put in all my income for the tax year so far onto the complicated spreadsheet. It's not that complicated once you start getting used to it. My B says he'll go through it with me later. I think it's gonna be fine. My life has got a bit more complicated with regards to accounts. I won't go into details because it's just not that interesting, but it's just not as easy as it used to be. I am gonna have a little break now. I'm gonna eat a couple of squares of chocolate, and maybe even some crisps, and then do my last half hour of practice and then start getting the dinner on. Nom, nom, nom. Look, I've eaten half the chocolate already by the time I got up the stairs. I'm dribbling now. It's so delicious. I bought this in Tesco yesterday. It's 30p a bar. Lasts me ages because I only have a few bits at a time. I had a little break. Well, sort of. I was actually messing with the vlog at the same time. And, and I've been putting my footage all film today on a timeline as well because I completely lost track of how much I'd filmed because it was such a chaotic and disrupted day. But I know I'm all right. I haven't got too little. I haven't got too much. We're about right for now. So I'm going to go practice my flute now. Oh, and this is here. Did I tell you? Izzy went and got it herself. I can't remember if I told you or if I told Ivy on the phone because I did ring him earlier about the spreadsheet and I told him about that. Saved me some time as well and I got three emails dealt with while she was doing that. There has to be tea. I'm just at this point of the afternoon where any prop that will keep me awake <laughs> I will accept. Oh it's a bit dark down here. This carpet I spilled so much tea on it. Come on then, I'm just gonna do half an hour. Well, I've done half an hour already. In fact, I've done slightly more than half an hour, so I just try to sort of time budget for one hour a day on the old practice and chip away at it, you know. I would much rather have practiced when I was more awake this morning. I don't like to leave it till the evening because I'm just not as focused on it and I'm not as energetic, but I haven't got much to do. I just found a load more tune sets that I'm supposed to have practiced that I'd completely forgotten about because I haven't played them since before the pandemic. I went rooting around because I've literally forgotten how one of these tunes goes. There's just a little bit. So I thought, can I find the original notation when I hand wrote it down? No, I couldn't. But I did find <laughs> about another 10 sets that really should be on that list and I haven't practice them so oh dear uh <sighs> the tune that i've forgotten a bit out of i don't actually know what it's called but there's this app called tune pal it's a paid one it's only a few quid it's not very expensive you tap to record you play your tune into it and then it tells you what it thinks it is and then i'll have the name of it and then i'll be able to look it up and see how that bit goes this is the plan let's give it a go then shall we see if we can identify this tune The funny thing is, when IB plays this, it doesn't recognise the tune, and when I do, it usually does, which is a bit of a standing joke between the two of us. Come on, it's taking its time, isn't it? Well, that was a bit of an anti-climax. Apparently, Tune Pal is not working for me today, but it usually does. It usually tells you what it is and gives you the notation for it, so you can check any bits you've forgotten. Oh, I'll have to ask IB when he comes over instead. It is later and IB is due in 40 minutes. I am making a very spicy dinner for me and IB. We have a solution for food. In there we got garlic, ginger and chilli so far. The chilli was off this plant. My daughter does like some very simple food and she requested, she said, Mum, can I have tuna rice and some vegetables for my dinner? That's all she wants, just like boiled vegetables, tuna out of a tin and some boiled rice. So yeah, okay, that sounds balanced enough. So I'm literally gonna cook two meals at the same time. But me and I be are gonna have a spicy stir fry because we're gonna use up the Singapore noodles that I got in Tesco's really cheap the other day. Was it 30 something P? 35 P a packet, so I'm gonna chuck both of those in there. And the fake meat as well, which was, I was 82 P, see. So I'll use all that up, so that's good. Dinner's looking like this at the moment. I haven't put those noodles in yet. They are waiting over there, ready to go in imminently. There's Izzy's broccoli ready to go on. Izzy's rice in the microwave. <laughs> and uh, that's about it, really. Thank you so much for watching. Do give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos from me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!